Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm in my car. I just went through the car wash and got a smoothie and I'm headed to get my hair cut. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I'm just getting a little trim. So I haven't got my hair cut in probably a little over a year. And since I'm wearing it natural more, it's just kind of all one length. So I wanna get just a little bit of a trim and then some shorter pieces around the front of my face just to frame it a little bit. So if I wanna wear my hair up, I can like have a little few pieces hanging down. This is the something berry smoothie. It has strawberries, banana, blueberries, and I added like some protein powder because this is gonna be my lunch for the day. I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna tell him I wanna do to my hair the whole way up here. Usually he's pretty good because he does a lot of curly cuts but i don't get like the curly girl method i um because if i ever want to wear my hair straight i don't want it to be all choppy so if you get the curly girl method they cut your hair dry just where like the curl falls and it looks really really good but if i ever want to straighten my hair i don't want it to be super choppy and uneven so i am going to get a few more layers a tiny bit of a trim i don't want to lose my length and then frame it around my face like I told you guys. So let's go. the haircut place here is my hair this lighting is not the best right now but it is a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be but I need to style it myself because it's still kind of wet and we did a few layers and I'm really happy with it overall I needed a little healthy cut so I'm about to pick up my aunt then we're gonna go eat guys it's the next day yesterday i picked up my aunt after my haircut we went and i picked up naeem a birthday present i just got him some shorts and a workout top from lululemon and then some sprinkles cupcakes and we went home and then i just was so tired because i was out in dallas all day yesterday and driving is just really exhausting it is about 10 o'clock i've just been doing stuff on my computer and i made some breakfast this is avocado toast with um red pepper flakes salt lemon and some feta cheese and then i made an egg and i'm gonna go to orange theory in about two hours so i'm gonna eat this really quickly all right here's the outfit for orange theory it's just an all black <laughs> outfit this is a lululemon short sleeve top my align leggings my nike fly knits and yeah i am going to die the last orange theory class i did it's probably last week. I think I've been doing it like once a week and it's just been hard. It's been hard cardio wise. It's been like pretty difficult. I have a little bit of time before I head to Orange Theory and I've just been like sitting at my computer and I can't focus on anything because I've just been like in this mood and I can't get out of it. Like, and sometimes I bottle things up where I just like like I explode once I start to like talk about things <sighs> and I'm totally fine and like everything in my life is going great like alhamdulillah like everything I'm healthy like I have a great family like loving fiance like all these things but <sighs> since I moved off to college my life has always been like go 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 and I took this time to like move back home and be closer to family and i'm so happy that i live close to my family but there's just things in my life that i wish were like 
obviously like moving a little bit faster and uh, it's just crazy how like you plan in your head and in your life things that you want to happen and God just has a different timeline for you and I'm specifically talking about like I wish I was married right now and it's just hard like being in a long distance relationship because it's just hard being in a long distance relationship because I don't get to spend every day with mom and obviously and when I do visit him like we both work full-time jobs like this is a full-time job for me I'm busy every single day and he has a full-time job Monday through Friday and so when we do visit each other on the weekends it's half of Friday all of Saturday and half of Sunday I told myself like moving home I would throw myself into my work and really try to like build my Instagram and YouTube and business up um, so that I can just be like really independent and financially successful and all of that has been great but at the end of the day when I just like have been working so hard all week and I'm exhausted and I just I'm like by myself it's just hard and I know it won't be like this forever but sometimes it just gets to me and I think if you're in a long distance relationship then you understand that it's just hard today is just one of those days and you just have those feelings of like you want to like spend every day together and you don't even know what spending every day together feels like and it's just it's not easy so yeah that is about it <laughs> i'm totally fine i just sometimes have like moments like this where i just need to like let it out and yeah <laughs> i feel better now <laughs> just got to orange theory so here's a before and here's after just got back to my apartment that was really hard. We did like a lot of circuits, so we would do multiple things. My arm is shaking really bad. Can you tell? Oh my God, why is my arm shaking so bad? Hi. Bye. Okay. Um. Hey, look. What is it? Oh, I just called you because I thought Elena was there. Oh. <laughs> so that was. It. Did you work out today? You're looking good, Lauren. Thanks. I went to Orange Theory earlier. You did? What time? 12. I went to the gym at 12. You look good. Your shoulders and your arms. I, my, literally, I work them out a bunch and they go poof. Yeah. I was FaceTiming Lena and then Lauren was trying to FaceTime me so I answered on the laptop so I was talking to both of them at the same time. It's a little bit later in the day and I spent the last few hours filming some uh, Ramadan recipes for Instagram reels. So I was filming that over here and uh, I think you guys are really gonna like them. I'm trying to stay a little bit ahead or get a little bit ahead with that because I know during Ramadan, at least the first week, I will be just dead. So I won't wanna do anything productive. Okay, I just did a wudu so I can pray and I'm gonna take my makeup off because I'm gonna go to dinner at my house. And I just got some new pillowcases. I ordered these pillowcases off of Etsy. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. Probably on my bed, because I think they'll go the best on my bed. We'll see. I'm so excited to decorate for Ramadan. I haven't never I've never decorated for Ramadan because I've never really taken the opportunity to decorate anywhere that I've lived. It's just kind of been like blah. So I'm gonna do that this year not like crazy just kind of minimal i just got like maybe two things now that i think about it i think i got two things <laughs> anyways i have a new console table if you guys saw a box in the background i got a new console table that's gonna go under that black round mirror so um i'm probably gonna put that up or put that together next week but i'm just using the fresh soy facial cleanser which why is there we go. I've um, been using this one for a little bit. I ran out of a face wash, which I think that was the last one I used. Then I bought this one. 
La, 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 la. Okay, next thing I'm using is this Monday. This is by a brand called Monday Born. And it's um, a sore. It's called Source. It's an essence. So it's so hydrating. I put this on before I do my moisturizer. And I just recently started using this. But it's so hydrating. Like, I can't even... So I'll put it on, and then a few hours later, my skin still feels so good. So I guess that's a new product I've been using. And then this is the Kiehl's Moisturizer, which I have I hadn't used, but I've, I heard good things. And so when I ran out of my moisturizer, I just picked this one up. This is one of those products that I never really stick with the same thing. There's just so many good moisturizers out there. And it's like moisturizer and shampoo and conditioner. After I finish something, I just always try something else. I am stopping at Sonic and getting a bag of ice because Lauren asked me to bring ice because they don't have any at home. And I think she wants to make some type of a drink. Hi, bag of ice. Uh, yes. You can get a no, that's okay. Yeah, Thank you. Ready. You too. I didn't even know you could buy bags of ice, but I got it. Morning guys, I'm just having a smoothie for breakfast. And last night I had dinner at my parents' house. I came back here, passed out. I am about to head to the gym, so I'm trying to like, I'm really hungry. I'm trying to like drink this and then I can head to go work out. I have had a few people in my life tell me that I've been losing weight and it's not on purpose at all. It's just that since I'm so busy lately, I'm not eating as much as I used to. And then since I've been incorporating Orange Theory into like my workouts now, it's a lot of cardio, which I've been doing like once or twice a week. So I don't think it's making that big of a difference, but it's a lot of cardio and I'm not really eating as much as I used to. So I'm trying to like eat more protein so I put protein powder and collagen in here and then later today I'm gonna have I'm gonna pick up some salmon and have that for lunch I just changed for the gym um, I'm forcing myself to go because I'm not in the mood and oops, just open the window uh, but I need to get it over with so let me show you my outfit I always gravitate towards an all-black gym outfit I don't know why so my um, Lululemon Align leggings, these are the leopard print ones, and then this is an Athleta top, and then my um, Nike Flynets. I think these are from like 2018. I really need to get some new ones. Maybe I'll get some new workout shoes. I'm home from the gym making some quick lunch. I've got some zucchini and red onions with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I usually like to put some curry on this, but I don't actually have any. I've got some white rice, and then I've got some salmon in the oven. I made two, a few pieces of eggplant because I was just craving that. And then I've also got some basmati rice. And then some salmon. All right, here's the bowl. Just got zucchini, red onion, eggplant that I just sauteed in a pan with olive oil and salt, white rice, and some salmon. Honestly, this is a pretty basic meal that I used to eat all the time in Dallas and no, I didn't eat this. I didn't eat this in college, just Dallas. So, but the eggplant, I don't know what it is. I've just been craving eggplant lately. Mm -mm. I am about to get in the shower. This is going to be my first time washing my hair since I got it cut. And I feel like I didn't even really get to show it to you guys. And I've been wearing it up since I got it cut. So, oh, I wanted to show you guys. This. So this is a new Nexus product um, that I think you girls with curly hair will really like. You guys know I was a Nexus ambassador last year, so um, I had the opportunity to try out a lot of products. And they just came out with this new product. They actually came out with a, um, a full range just for curly hair. So this is like the brand's first ever line of uh, exclusively for curly hair. So they have like a shampoo and conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, and then they have something called a pre-wash treatment. And this is um, what it is. It comes in like this big tub. It looks like this. I've used it a few times. And it's mainly for like detangling your hair. It has castor oil and shea butter. 
but the main thing I really like it for is detangling your hair because I'm always fighting to detangle my hair when I put my shampoo in and then I can never really fully shampoo my hair I have to shampoo my hair twice always so if you put you're supposed to like wet your hair and then you put this treatment in it and you leave it on for like five to ten minutes and it really helps detangle your curls it kind of like melts through your hair and there's like eight different um, benefits to this which I mean I could read them off to you but the main thing is like detangling nourishing hair and scalp reduces breakage it's kind of like a hair mask um, but like a quick one it's one you leave in for like five to ten minutes when you're in the shower <sighs> feels so good to be out of the shower using my own products I've tried out a few different um, leave-in conditioners the one that I like the best that I've tried is the Olaplex number no. six this is for all hair types their products smell so good. I rave about their number three um, hair mask to you guys all the time. So I knew like their shampoo, I'm sure their shampoo and conditioner is good, but I'm just uh, in love with their leave-in conditioner. <laughs> headed out the door to go by H&M and return some things um, and I might look around a little bit so I'll take you guys with me I always get questions on this top it's from Everlane if you guys remember a few maybe last summer I found some really good stuff from there I shared in a summer um, wardrobe haul and I really like their shirts like just basic shirts they are really good quality. Their brain is sustain. Their brand is sustainable. So if you guys are their brain, <laughs> so if you guys are looking for some good quality T-shirts, look at Everlane. Um, I'll link this one down below. I'm headed out the door, and I'll take you guys with me. These sweatshirts are super cute with the like boxed shoulders, and then that is my sweatshirt that I wear like 24/7 with the matching um, with the matching joggers. I got one pair of pants, and then I returned everything else. Man, it says it's only 73 degrees outside, but it is so hot. Literally so hot. So I'm gonna stop and get a Sonic drink. I'm gonna get a club soda, and then I'm gonna go home and plan my outfits out for pictures tomorrow. So. And then I'll go home for dinner and we'll call it a day. I'm trying on a few things for pictures tomorrow. This is a dress that I ordered and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's so cute. So I have to show you. It is a maxi dress and, or I would say it's more of a midi dress because it doesn't go all the way to the ground. And it's from Red Dress Boutique and it comes in black. I'm sorry, not black. Um, olive green and a peachy color. I got this color. It's so cute. It's perfect for spring and summer. Loving this. This one is a keep and I'll probably shoot this tomorrow so I can post it for you guys. Also, these sandals are so comfortable. I got them last year. Um, my sister Lena had these um, for a while and then I decided to get them and they're so cute, super comfortable. They're like Hermes um, inspired shoes. So I'll link these down below if you guys wanna see them. I just finished picking out all my outfits and I changed into some comfortable clothes and I'm gonna head out to my parents house elena's over there so i'm gonna go see her for a little bit eat dinner and then come back and head to bed i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am prepping a lot of ramadan content so i'm super excited to be vlogging during ramadan and sharing um trying to keep you guys entertained during that month so hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you in the next video bye